So usually by default, the auto normalize loudness feature is turned on if you haven't changed any settings. So usually when you edit things out, you might want to turn it off. So let's say uh, over here, you can see that there's the audio levels, uh, which is around the same level. But if you want more control over editing, then you simply go over here on to the top, go on to project settings, and then turn the auto normalize, it, normalize loudness off. So what happens is that all of the volumes right here, you can see is in its default format. So here, uh, this is the same clip. So the volume for these clips are the same, but this you can see is much more higher compared to others. You can also go around onto project settings from here, just like this and auto normalize loudness can be turned on from here as well. Alternatively, you can uh, turn it on or off by default by going into uh, preferences from the edit section right there. And then from edit, you can go to project and over here, you can see by default, the auto normalization loudness is turned on. You can turn it off as well if you want to manually work with it. So usually it's a good idea to turn this off by default, then work around with this. Let's say, for example, you want to work with the loudness right here. So you simply go over here, work around with the gain just like this, uh, arrange out uh, the audio levels just like this according to what you want. And later when you're trying to export it out everything altogether, then you go on on to project settings and then you turn on auto normalized loudness. And what it does is it normalizes everything to be on the same level as you can see right here, which will, which is much more helpful in case of audio quality. So that is how you can utilize the auto normalized loudness feature inside of Camtasia. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.